morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the feast of uh, Saint Peter Faber of the Society of Jesus. We are gathered in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We now acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for forgiveness to strengthen us with God's compassion. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Father, Lord of heaven and earth, who revealed yourself to St. Peter Faber, your humble servant, in prayer and in the service of his neighbor, grant that we may find you and love you in all things, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come proclaiming the mystery of God to you in lofty words or wisdom. For I decided to know A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. When I came to you, brothers and sisters, I did not come proclaiming the mystery of God to you in lofty words or wisdom, for I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I came to you in weakness and in fear and in much trembling. My speech and my proclamation were not with plausible words of wisdom, but with a demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might rest, not on human wisdom, but on the power of God. The Word of the Lord. To you, glory and praise forevermore. To you, glory and praise forevermore. Blessed are you, O Lord, God of our ancestors, and to be praised and highly exalted forever. And bless is your glorious holy name, and to be highly praised and highly exalted forever. To you, glory and praise forevermore. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, and to be extolled and highly glorified forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, and to be extolled and highly exalted forever. To you, forever and grace forevermore. Blessed are you who look into the depths and to be praised and highly exalted forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven and to be sung and glorified forever. To you glory and praise forevermore. Bless the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you angels of the Lord. Sing praise to him highly and highly exalt him forever. To you, glory and praise forevermore. Bless the Lord, all people on the earth. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord of Israel. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. To you, glory and praise forevermore. Bless the Lord, you priests of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. Bless the Lord, you servants of the Lord. Sing praise to him and highly exalt him forever. To you, glory and praise forevermore. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Come, follow me, says the Lord, 
and I will make you fishers of my people. Alleluia. 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 The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above the master. It is enough for a disciple to be like the teacher and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered, and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the dark, what, tell in the light, and what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. My brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Peter Faber is a French man. Uh, he studied in the University of Paris, Paris when Ignatius himself was studying there. In fact, they were not only classmates, they were roommates. And so Peter Faber would be one of the first Jesuits, the founding fathers of the Society of Jesus. Now, when he was canonized a saint by Pope Francis, Pope Francis described him with three words, ano? careful interior discernment, capable of great strong decisions, also capable of being gentle and humble. In one YouTube about Peter Faber, they said he was a master of the life of the affections he was a master of spiritual conversations so maybe we can call him master of the interior life and so saint peter faber how to be you how to be a master of interior life you know one can go through savior school and see the talents of your classmates, see the material resources that they have, see all the skills that are displayed in them of character, and you fail to see in yourself what is it that you have, no? Arang donut, naghahanap ka nung ano yung nasa butas, eh wala naman. Master of interior life, meaning you are able to notice what is it that you have? You are able to name the graces and gifts that is given to you. And you begin to appreciate this. And you become a person of gratitude. Eh, of gratitude. So, master of interior life, someone who would notice the gifts that you have, you're able to name them, you are able to appreciate and be a person of gratitude. Okay. Secondly, uh, master of the interior life. You can be a person with a lot of intelligence, so many competence in this and that. You have so many skills. But how do you use the things that you have? And for what purpose? I remember a comment then of a bright Filipino senator said, so intelligent, so young, and so corrupt. <laughs> so, someone with an interior life, you know, someone with a master of interior life, you have this inner space from within. And from this internal space, you are able to lead others. Ayan. What are the handles of this interior space? Well, you can say, cura personalis. You care for your classmates, their whole being, not just when they are present, you also care for them when they are suddenly uh, not present in the Zoom class or nalaglag ang internet. No? You care for them. You are a person with compassion. 
you see the pain and sufferings of the others, and then, but not end with, ay, buti na lang ako, hindi ganun. No, no, no. <laughs> you see the pain and suffering of the others, and you do something for them. Do something to alleviate their pain. And one more, see, you're a person of conscience, of course. You know what is right and what is wrong. So, you can master of interior life. You have competence, you have skills, you have resources, but you use these things from an inner life that is of cura personalis, of compassion, and of conscience. And lastly, um, you know, one can be tired, overstretched, you know, it's not just one year of pandemic school, it's two years, and we can be lonely, isolated, and unsupported. So you're able to name what is going on, good. But you are able to draw from something deeper. That is the life of Christ that is in us. So you can say, Jesus, I feel lonely and I feel isolated. And so maybe from that connection with Jesus, we will know what to do with our being tired, overstretched, lonely, and isolated. So yun po, I think Peter Faber was a master of the interior life. Let us be like him. My dear friends, have a life. Have an interior life. Be a master of the interior life. And may God bless you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty and loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we share in the passion of your Son, who became obedient even to death, enable us, O Lord, to spend ourselves gladly for others, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love, and that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled. Their great example lends us courage. Their fervent prayers sustain us in all we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Archbishop, the clergy, and those who do ministry for you. We now pray for our beloved dead. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Remember also our brothers and sisters, those who are sick, those in the hospitals, and those who care for them. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, Peter Faber, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus the Christ. For it is through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. My dear friends, we now call on God, our loving Father. Our, our Father. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your people, your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We take time now to greet each other with a sign of peace. Together now, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, present us peace. My brothers and sisters, this is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are always invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Our Father, who have renewed us with the bread of heaven, send your angels to go before those who preach your gospel and protect them on their way. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we ask for your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed our lives. Kindly look upon us with love, and by your healing hand, dispel our fears, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. Please guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines already developed, which we hope will soon bring an end to the pandemic. We pray for the health, well-being, and protection of our healthcare workers as they minister to the sick with their competence and compassion. Restore the health of those who are afflicted, protect those who care for them, and grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace of openness to help those in need. May this concern and compassion see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Of course, we pray for class 4G who are celebrating the feast day, their feast day today, St. Peter Faber. Binabati po namin kayo, class 4G, and your teachers. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless us all. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.